All right, gang, so we went through the Windows tour. Now I want to go through a couple different things. Uh, installing, uninstalling applications, uh, setting up different tasks to complete, so on and so forth. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. So first thing, if you wanted to uninstall or install a program, right, you can go to Start. And you can type in programs, or we can do it the long way. Let's do it the long way, all right? So 9 out of 10, whatever you want to do, either you can search for it, or you can find it inside of the control panel. So let's click on control panel. And from here, let's click on programs. Bam. So as you can see, programs and features. Underneath that, you can uninstall the program, turn Windows features on and off, um, run programs made with previous versions of Windows, and long story short, install stuff and uninstall stuff. Now, this is a Windows 7 version. Um, Windows 10 is slightly different. Every version of Windows is a little bit different. But pretty much any version you have, if you go to Start and you go to Search and you type in uh, Add Remove Programs, it'll pop up. Okay? So another thing that I want us to look at are drivers, all right? So every device on your computer has a driver. So let's go to devices and printers. So a driver, simply put, is a piece of software that runs your device. So these are all the devices that are hooked up to the virtual machine. So we got a USB tablet, we got a little um, switcher router, we got a fax machine, and that's it. And each one of those devices would actually have a driver. So the driver now, a days, is pretty much embedded inside of the device. So a lot of times when you plug it into your machine, it'll say, hold on, while driver is downloading. And all the driver is, once again, is just the software that communicates with the device to tell the PC or the laptop or whatever device you use, like, hey, I'm a keyboard, this is how we work together. I'm a USB tablet, this is how we work together. I'm a mouse, this is how we work together. All right, so it's just a driver, it's just a software that tells the device what to do. Okay, so if you wanted to add a device, you can go right here. If you want to add a printer, you can go right here. All right. So um, let's go ahead and add a device. And if you want to add a device, it's going to search for all the devices that are discoverable and all of the devices that it thinks is connected or nearby your computer or your laptop. Now, if you don't find the devices inside of this, you can actually just type in the name of the device or where it's located. So since this is a virtual machine, it's not going to find anything, so let's go ahead and cancel out of this. And let's go to the device manager. So we saw devices and printers. Those are the devices and printers that we have on this machine. So let's look at the device manager. So device manager is where you can actually delete devices, add devices, and also see if the driver for a certain device is compatible if it's working or if there's a problem with it, okay? So this is all the devices that are connected to this virtual machine. Let's uh, go to network adapters. So the network adapter is what's gonna actually get me on the internet. That device is inside of my laptop or inside of my computer, and that's what's gonna actually get on me on the internet, right? So to look at information about this device, all I have to do is right click it, and here's the options that pop up. Update driver software. So if um, the device was acting crazy, wasn't acting the way we wanted it to, we can update the driver, we can disable the device, or we can uninstall the device. All right, sometimes when things are going crazy, you have to disable devices, you have to roll back drivers, which means that if you update a driver, you can roll back to a previous driver, or you have to just completely uninstall a device all together and then reinstall it. Now, 
if um, you don't know what you're doing, just be super careful because if you uninstall uh, the monitor and the monitor stops working, it may be difficult for you to uh, figure that out. So just make sure that you're taking the proper precautions. And then if you're looking for a way to update your drivers, you can do that inside of Device Manager. Sound good? Great. So we figured out how to update drivers. We saw how to uh, install and uninstall um, uh, application. What's well, something else we can do? Uh, let's go to let's go back to control panel and let's actually look at. Now nah, let's not do it from here. Do I want to do it from here? Well, I guess we can. All right, now let's look at some security stuff. So you can go to system and security, or like I said, you can always go to start and then search for whatever you're looking for, right? So inside of system and security, there's a couple cool things inside of here. The thing that I want us to um, look at is Windows Update. All right, Windows Update should always be turned on. All right, always be turned on. And in the options, make sure that it's going to be searching for updates on its own. For example, this is a virtual machine and I have one important update that I need to install. So um, I can actually install this update right now or I can wait. Like I said, this is a virtual machine, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but let's say that we came here and there was nothing here. I can actually click check for updates and then it will start checking for updates. All right, anyway, so um, the reason that it's not finding things, like I said, I'm doing everything on a virtual machine, so um, it may not find stuff. But anyway, if you are uh, looking for stuff on your machine, Windows Update, is, if it, there's an update, if there's a patch, if there's a service pack out, this is where it will be. Now, let's go to change settings. So the easiest way for you to install the um, updates is just to have installs update automatically right now for you and just you by yourself that would be the easiest thing now once you get uh, your job at Google or Microsoft or once you open up your own company and you're responsible for a lot of devices and maybe an entire network you're gonna want to download the updates but choose whether you want to install them right so a lot of times you'll download the updates and then like the virtual machines that we were talking about, we would actually download and update other machines, virtual machines, and see how the virtual machines react to the updates. Now if the virtual machines start acting crazy, we have to fix the bugs on a virtual machine and then move the updated update to the actual machine. The reason I say that is because you don't want to update your actual network, your actual devices, and then the update is incompatible and it brings on your network or it uh, stops stuff from flowing the way it should. Make sense? Great. So here you can pick uh, when they install updates. Another thing, uh, it would be good to do it if you want to do it every day, every Sunday, but whatever day you do it, make sure that you do it when you're not going to be using your computer. Most people won't be using their computer at 3 o'clock, whether it's personal or on a network. Just do it when it's not operating hours, all right? All right, one last thing that I want to talk about is licensing, right? So this is a virtual machine, and you see at the bottom it says this copy of Windows is not genuine. That's super important, right? Super important. So if you were on an actual computer, if you were on a network and you saw that, um, that should raise a little bit of alarm, right? Because what happens is Microsoft, they'll give you a license to install their software on a certain amount of uh, products or a certain amount of devices. For example, uh, if you're a personal user, once you download Microsoft, they'll usually give you a license that you can actually download the operating system on three devices. Right, so instead of having to buy Microsoft Office for three computers, you only have to buy it one time. Makes sense. Great. So 
when you license the Microsoft operating system, let's say that you buy 100 license, that means that you can actually download that operating system on 100 different devices instead of having to pay a separate price for each one. Make sense? Great. All right, gang, so that was a quick little uh, go through. We went through uh, licensing. We went through installing and uninstalling uh, software. And we also went through patching and updating. Hope you had a good time. Um, as always, uh, it was good to see you guys, even though I didn't see you guys. Uh, if you're looking for any kind of courses, we got A+, plus, Net+, plus, Security+, plus, uh, Server+, plus, Linux+, plus, CEH, CCNA, and career coaching over at icmagicy.com. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Make sure you tweet us. Oh, and also make sure that you become part of the Master IT alumni group. And other than that, I'll see you next time.